Hi guys, Delete Bacon, and I wanted to dive right in and talk about my nook. I love my nook so much. Um, this is her right here. That is a picture of my puppy, Kyo, in the snow, looking back at something. Anyway, um, I actually got my nook um, a little over a year ago, around March of 2010, pretty close to when it first came out. Um, and it's great. Um, I had an interesting relationship with reading um, ever since I was a child. I love to read um, so much and I actually have this weird thing where if I started a book, I wouldn't stop reading it until I had read it cover to cover. <laughs> so people would come over and, you know, like friends of my sister would come over and try to talk to me um, and say, you know, cute little things like, hey, what's up? And I'd be like, and then you know my sister just started to tell people uh she she doesn't talk when she's reading and they're like that's weird than it was but i i loved reading that much and um mixed with a little bit maybe of obsessive but anyway um i i really loved it and then i continued to love reading um throughout elementary school junior high school high school and then it was college um, I was an English major in college, and I think that I was just overexposed to reading. Um, to some of you guys, that might sound ridiculous, and um, I'm surprised. I never thought that I wouldn't enjoy reading, but I, it was just too much. You know, first of all, I think it is a big turnoff to um, children and adults alike when they are forced to read something that they would not have picked for themselves. And, um, I mean, you're assigned, you're assigned reading throughout school, and some of it you're going to like, others you're not going to like, but you're going to have to read them anyway. Um, and then there's a third category of things that you like, but just the fact that you're being, you feel pressured to read it because you're going to be tested on it or whatever the case may be, um, you have to write papers on it, and you're just cramming all this information into your head, it's just a bit of a turn off. So... I took a break from reading. Um, I actually, I went to college, like I said, I was an English major, and um, I had this one class, and I had to read, I had four other classes, so five classes in total, but for the one class, I had to read 400 pages every week, just for that one class, and then you would go, and the teacher would um, have these pop quizzes that added up to be a huge part of your grades, that were like, you know, they mentioned the dog named Sparkle uh, on page four, and you have read up to page 200 uh, since the last class a couple of days ago. And he would say, what was the name of Lucy's dog? And you're like, oh God, was it, uh, was it Sprinkle? Was it, it was with an S, it was with an F, was it with a, was it with a C? <laughs> and you just screwed. Like, I couldn't stand it. There were tons of good books. Uh, that we read. It was a classic literature class, but it just turned me off. It was just too much, um, and I took a break. When I got back into reading was probably a couple years later, um, when I was in Fort Drum. My husband was in the Army. He was a, I was an Army wife. My husband was a soldier, and um, I was bored to tears. I wasn't working. And I was just really bored. So the book, I went to Walmart one day, just picked up a book. And, um, you know, I read the back of a few books, but I, I think I stuck with the very first book I picked up, which was The Host by Stephanie Meyer, which is, you know, the author from Twilight. But I actually didn't know that. I didn't really have an interest in reading the Twilight series. But that sparked my interest. Um, I talked to a friend of mine, and she was saying, oh, The Host, what is that? Um, well, I'm really into the Twilight series. And I, I read I read the Twilight series. Um, I enjoyed it. It was actually the first set of books that I read on my Nook. Um, and I just adore my Nook. The thing about the Nook is, and I you know, some of these, these benefits are going to be true of any e reader and some of them are specific to the Nook. So one thing to note is if you think about it, how awesome is it that no matter what the size of the book, I mean I've read books, you know almost a thousand pages long. No matter what, it's this size. 
this is weight. I just think that that's awesome. Um, you know, it's it's not like having you know cell phone that you have to charge every day. I charge this about once a week, and um, it's pretty remarkable. Um, you know, they report the time as ten days. I usually get seven days out of it or so, um, but they actually are releasing. <laughs> A second generation Nook non-color um, in just a little over a week and it's the reported battery life is two months to me that's just unheard of um, thinking you know they seem to be a little bit generous you know any cell phone manufacturer any kind of electronics to me uh, they're usually kind of generous with the battery life that they report but if I get seven days out of something when they reported ten, I'm thinking for two months it lasts over a month on one charge, one you know maybe three hour charge, which is crazy. Um, so I'm trying to justify buying that one. I haven't been able to yet. Um, but yeah, my husband actually insisted on getting this for me, so it has something to do when uh, he wasn't around. I didn't really have friends up in Fort Drum, and um, it it really meant a lot to me. It it, it made the experience more pleasant to always have something to do um, and it really it's just fun to use it uh, it definitely helps rekindle my love for reading and um, I definitely recommend the Nook something that is exclusive to the Nook is um, that some books are lendable so you can get a book and if you have another friend who has a Nook or a Nook app you can loan the book to them for up to two weeks, and I think that's awesome. And I invite people to send me, lend me requests because I'll be happy to read some books for free and to give you guys some books for free. And that's awesome. They also have a feature where you can lend books from libraries and read them on your Nook. I haven't experienced that um, yet. I haven't made use of that feature. Um, I usually browse the free section on Barnes and Noble and. Um, Otherwise, once in a while, I will buy a book um, from the Barnes & Noble website itself. But I just think it's an amazing device. Um, and I don't know. I'm, I'm really happy with my purchase, um, even over a year later. This is the case that I got for it. Um, it has a zipper here, a little pocket where I have stuck a Barnes & Noble gift card inside. Um, and then it opens up like this. And these are the little um, tabs that hold the actual nook so you can read it while it's in the case, which I thought was cool and um, is one of the reasons I bought this case. Um, usually I prefer to just go ahead and take the nook out because this can be a bit bulky, but your nook is well protected in this. And I like how you know, it zips all the way around because I'm really anal about scratches and things like that. And some of them were more like a pocket and I felt like things could get in there and maybe damage it a little bit. Um, but this is by M Edge and I got my nook and the case from Best Buy. Um, so yeah, I am interested in hearing about, you know, you guys' favorite e-reader, are you a Kindle person, are you a Nook person, um, another option. Um, and my old school, my old school folks out there, do you guys still prefer the paper books? Um, do you just prefer the price of them? Uh, how do you feel about it? And I would love to hear what you guys are reading. I'm always looking for good books. Um, I prefer fiction. I really like dystopian novels right now. I'm reading the Ugly series like God Like This Old, which are really good. Um, but I'm constantly looking for suggestions and um, I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys. So I hope this was helpful and um, until next time. Bye.